I think Volner has to be a little bit careful. While in that situation it looks spectacular, the crowd enjoy it. If he finds himself away from the table too much, then I can see Lee coming back into this game and getting on top. Three, four. Now, the stamping of the foot you hear from both players is off-putting, but legal. It is, yes. It's illegal on service. It's legal, providing it's part of the, uh, of the, of the stroke action. Five, four. I just feel that Volner's let his concentration wander a little bit. He was leading 4-1, found himself 7-4 down. Six, seven. Now he's getting back to the job in hand. There we saw him play wide down the forehand, several strokes, and then catch him with a quick one down the backhand. 6-8. example for any defensive player watching this program. To be successful, they've got to be capable of coming in and hitting the loose ball. The previous point, a perfect example of that skill. But to get that good, you've got to practice for about 10 years. It's incredible for the defensive player, because they've got to defend as well as attack. Do an awful lot of work there. Tremendous point there. Volner blocking Lee out wide to the forehand. Lee attacking extremely well. Volner now forcing him on the defence. Wide down the backhand. Tremendous recovery from Lee. Brings him in with a soft one to the forehand. Lee forced to top spin. Tremendous rally there. Just off. If I was a Swedish coach, I'd be quite happy with that point. Volner played it tactically well. Oh. On earth was he able to get a winner out of that? I think Volner now is playing with a lot of confidence, but nevertheless, that was an excellent backhand topspin. 11-8. Nine eleven Valdner. Ten eleven. Wonderful play. How he changes direction. The angle he got wide to the forehand there. He imparted side spin on. It was very wide down Lee's forehand. Then equally wide down the backhand. Fantastic play there. Volner taking two or three strokes straight off the bounce, forcing Lee to toss the ball high in the air. Volner then smashing. Lee showing tremendous footwork to cover the, the court. Eventually, Volner forcing the ball out wide, almost putting Lee through the barriers. Again, we see Volden away from the table, losing the point. He's got to stay into that table. Slow ball. 
Superb attacking. Good example of the smash there from Volmer. Very little topspin on that winning stroke, hitting straight through the ball. 12 13 lead. Good long backspin serve there from Voldner, taking Lee completely by surprise. Volder now varying the, the pace tremendously, either very slow or very fast. Yes, the momentum has switched completely. He almost forced Lee to go for that stroke there. Lee, in an attempt to win the point, attacked. And Volder very quick on that. 13-16. Sixteen fourteen Valdner. Valdner, the world number two, one of four Swedish players in the top thirteen. Seventeen fourteen. Now just four points away from a place in the final. Seventeen fifteen. Tremendous shot again by Volner, taking the ball very early off the bounce. Provided he keeps applying himself tactically, then I think he should be okay in this game. Nineteen fifteen. Boldly winning the last two points with a very fast top spin to the middle of the table. So, five points for a place in the final for Valdner. Sixteen twenty. But Lee's not given up. One thing you must give the North and South Koreans credit for is the fighting spirit. Seventeen twenty. Oh. Eighteen twenty. Well, now he's been made to think. Two very fast forehand top spins by Voldner off the bounce, but Lee was there. Fourth attempt. Some breathtaking sport there. Two players at the peak of their powers, but it's Valdner who goes through to the final. And there is the final lineup. 